Hey guys, welcome, welcome to my channel and welcome to my profile where I posted this question. Data science interview day 13. Check out previous 12 videos as well. So here the question is unsupervised learning we have to do. Uh, the data set is having categorical features and with many categories. Okay. So with unsupervised learning, the first thing that comes to our mind is K-means clustering, right? So, but there is a problem here. In K-means clustering, the data points are mainly numerical. They works well on that. But when it's categorical, let's see the solution. Okay, what happens in categoric? Uh, so normal when we have numerical features x1, x2, x3, x4, then suppose the, each points are denoted by uh, this uh, suppose uh, four dimensions right so suppose it's a 4d um, i can't draw 4d but just for understanding so if i run my k means clustering so this will become a one cat one cluster this will become one cluster and this will become one cluster so all the clusters are based on the equidillion distances between the points and there will be one centroid from that centroid um, so this iteration will run, we will give what is the number of k I want. So suppose here I tell k, then it will find us three centroids and from there, whichever are closest to that, it will be telling that it's a following the same cluster. So, but when we have categorical features, suppose we have a class called pin code. Okay. So when we have pin code, so some feature is there in our data, data set, use data set. Now we have categories like suppose hundreds of categories, right? So if I now we can't use the number side, we need to encode. So one option is label encoding. So like we will label it one, two, three till hundred. So the problem is the algorithm will treat this hundred as having higher value, but this two is having lower value. But this is not correct, right? All pin code, irrespective of what they are, like it will be seven, seven, seven. It will be seven, seven, one, three, three, zero, nine. Something like that. So all pin code have sim should be taken as similar. It should not be that this pin code should have higher weight than this pin code. So in that case, what we do? We do one hot encoding. Now the problem here is that one hot encoding is fine if we have two, three, four, five classes, less number of classes, till ten classes also fine. But if we have hundreds of uh, uh, this, no. So one hot encoding, what it will do? It will convert each of these pin code as a column, three, seven, zero, zero, three, nine, and wherever it is appearing in the data set. In so this is the whole data set, right? R1, R2. For that, it will be giving at zero, and it is R2. It's supporting one other 0 0 and one where this pin code is appearing so all these values unique values in this pin code column will become a row and they will be filled by zeros and ones so it will become a sparse matrix right so a lot of memory is wasted and uh, we have so many features so curse of dim dimensionality also comes into picture so we want that uh, this thing is not uh, so in the interview they asked me first i told okay we will do one hot encoding then they told uh, it will increase the memory space what you will do so that time what we should do? We will do PCA, principal component analysis, principal dimensionality reduction. So there are a few other algorithms as well, but simple is PCA. We can use PCA and apply over this whole hundred data. We can apply to the all the data, this hundred plus previous other data like x1, x2, or we can just apply one hot encoding on this part and merge with my main data. Okay, so this is a very good approach in that we can, after that we can run the K-means clustering and get the proper clusters. Yeah, so that's it for today. I hope it was helpful and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.